What happens when you steal a people's story, erase their history, and replace their identity? My name is Dr. Chika Akua, and I call it cultural identity theft, and it's had a devastating impact on African Americans and other people of color. The prevalence of gangsterized and criminalized images of black males contributes to how they're perceived and treated in schools and in society. The objectified and hypersexualized images of black females also affects how they're perceived and treated in schools and in society. I like to say that education is identity restoration, and change begins with choosing to transform school curricula to be more reflective of the best of African and African American history and culture. Educational research is clear, and it indicates that culture is the key the critical mediating factor in increasing student achievement for African-American students and students of color.